Hi, it's me again, and I wanted to actually say a few things because of the different videos that I've seen out there, um, the different things that people talk about um, that I thought maybe would be good to speak from my point of view. Um, the first thing is why I am, I've decided to do this surgery, and I have a few things listed. One thing is that I really, really would like to be able to fit into clothing that isn't at a specialty shop. Um, I've done it, had to do it all my life, and I'm tired of it. It's embarrassing. I can't even go to secondhand stores to find anything because most of the time they don't have anything in my size. At the moment, um, I'm wearing a 5X because it's roomier and it's comfortable. It is starting to fall off of me right now, but um, I don't want to go out and buy new clothes until I can actually, until I have no choice, essentially. I'm going to wear what I have until I can't wear it any longer. Um, another reason is something that somebody else had said. It just brought to mind that, um, yeah, it's true. I can't fit into a lot of things, you know, like the bathroom stalls. Using the handicap stall is where I go, you know, and if it's not available, I wait for it because I cannot use the bathroom in the small stall. Some places it's impossible and it's humiliating and I'm tired of having to have a special place to go to the bathroom or movie theaters. Um, I won't go to the dollar theater because they have the old seating there where they're really, you know, small. The big theaters where I call them big theaters because it's the newer theaters and you can actually lift up the armrests so you can, I can fit. But in the dollar theater, I can't. So I don't even like to go to the movies because of it. And like amusement parks, I'm always afraid that I'm not going to fit in the harnesses or whatnot. You know, there has been places where I've had to barely fit to the point where I was stuck. The ride was finished and the harness stayed on me because it wouldn't release because it was so tight, so tight of a fit. And it was very humiliating having to scream for them, for the attendant to let me off because I did not want to go on that ride again, for one, because it was pretty scary. And for two, everybody else I knew was waiting for me and I was still on the ride, stuck. And yeah, so that's not exactly comfortable. Um, going to the doctor's office or the hospital or any place like that, um, especially doctor's offices because they're different places. They don't always have the gowns that would fit me. And so mm, my rear is uncovered or my back is showing and it's also uncomfortable just to know the fact that it's not, it doesn't fit me. This gown that's one size fits all or large, extra large, the largest they have doesn't fit. The sleeves are so tight that I feel like I'm going to lose my arm. Um, the blood pressure cuffs, they have to go and get a larger cuff a lot of the time because the big one will just blow up and pop right off of me. Um, it's, it's humiliating. It's humiliating being this big. And I'm tired of it. I'm done. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to be like this the rest of my life. Which comes to my next point is my health. Um, I've already found out that I've got osteoarthritis in my knees. Um, it could have to do with my weight. But there are two lesions on my knee. On my, um, the top bone. <laughs> where it's worn down and they have to go in and they have to drill holes into my knee so that they can, so that it will heal. And that's not going to be fun. I'm going to have that done about three weeks after my, um, gastric sleeve and I won't be able to be weight bearing for six weeks. So 
that means I won't be able to start working out until after that surgery is done. And I don't want to have I don't want to have a lifetime of those surgeries. I don't want to have surgeries like my mom had to have um, hip surgery surgery after knee surgery after over and over and over again. The scars, the the pain, the in mobility. She can't get around. I don't want to be like that. I want to be free to move. And that comes to my last point. This was my biggest motivator was that um, I want to be on the amazing race. That is my ultimate goal. That is why I started the process of everything. I've been wanting this surgery for 13 years, but I actually put it into motion. But my first point was I needed to quit smoking, which I did in June of 2010. And I have not had a cigarette since then, and I smoked for 21 years. So that was my first step. And then having this surgery was my next step. And I will, I will do it. And we will hopefully be able to have a child because I think my weight has gotten in the way of that. Um, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, we will look into adoption. But I will have said that I tried everything I could which means getting rid of all this body weight. So, okay, so this is the second half to my video. I got interrupted um, by a phone call, but that's done. I was done telling why I wanted to have the surgery done. And um, the last thing I wanted to do was just to give a full body shot to show where I'm at before surgery, even though I've lost about 45 pounds since I started the process back in April. Um, I've lost some weight in my face and I'm actually able to fit into my jeans, but there's still a long way to go and I will just do my full body shot and then I will get this posted for everybody to know a little bit more about me. Here we go. So that's me at my full fullest figure. The last time I will be this big. And six months from now, I cannot wait to see the comparison. So for now, I will talk to you later.